Hello YouTube. Before I go into a little more detail on the V gauges, I wanted to show you my setup for uh, applying solder paste. So as you know, I'm getting my PCBs and stencils from PCBWay.com. A big thank you to Eric and Bella for their continuous support and they really i mean it's amazing uh i'm not perfect by all means and sometimes i do have small little mistakes on the uh, gerber files and pcb way always finds them and they get in touch with you and they work with you and fix them and you get in the end what you ordered what you need in the right way so a big 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 thank you to pcb way to eric to bella and all the other workers there I do not know by name or oh, uh, and um, with this opportunity I also wanted to thank some people and I wrote a piece of paper and so I will not forget to mention the people that I wanted to mention so first of all uh, thank you very much Adam uh, you are my biggest customer. You always support me with your ideas and uh, I can run by you anything I want and you always have a nice funny answer and uh, you build me up. So thank you very much for that. I always also wanted to thank Alexander in Australia. Uh, he helped me a lot with codes and also with support and help. Thank you very much. Eric and Bella I mentioned and I also want to thank you Brett Plowman from YouTube. He always gives me nice comments and encourages me. I also want to thank Emmanuel from France. He did uh, do the menu for the OLED track and for which he finally, I have it finished, he will get a OLED track from me. Thank you very much Emmanuel. And I also want to thank Steve from England. He helped me with a 3D design on my uh, what was it? Uh, oh man, I have to write everything down. For my oscilloscope, he designed a nice case, which I have somewhere here. Here it is. And I have it printed with a transparent PLA, which comes like translucent. Or maybe it's called translucent PLA. Uh, not PLA, I'm sorry, ABS. I do not print an ABS. And PLA. I have some orange that came with the 3D printer but everything else is ABS so thank you anyhow I'm getting lost here again thank you Steve for that I also want to thank Carsten from Denmark he sponsored me some items uh, that I'm very grateful for and uh, he's also getting some little items from me and I also want to thank John. He ordered recently GPS tracker from me. And uh, we have a very nice communication with him. So thank you, John. And I also have uh, John Raymond, also a YouTube commenter. Thank you, John, for your nice comments. I always appreciate them. And I also have a customer and YouTube uh, commenter uh, James Hauser, thank you James and there's also this uh, YouTube uh, Tech Angel, I don't know if it's probably not his real name <laughs> but anyhow thank you also and there are many many more people on YouTube, unfortunately I cannot uh, uh, mention all of them but thank you everybody for supporting me and watching my videos and giving me comments ideas and critique I'm always open for critique I'm not perfect uh, anything can be improved and I try my best to do so so that was that so let's get back to the stencils from PCB way they come like this I do not order them with the frame because then you need a stencil press machine or whatever they're called they're like 600 400 600 dollars which is absolutely not necessary get them like this and in your Gerber file if you have any holes in your PCB like I do and I just use four of them and put them on the file on the Gerber files you see here on the two on the bottom two on the top and with those I align the PCB 
and I wanted to make a something nicer to hold the PCB and stencil but never got around to it and then I finally needed to uh, put solder paste on this and by hand that's gonna take way long so I took the MDF pieces that they sent the stencils in there are two of them there in between the stencils and put the PCB on there drilled four holes and then just put four screws in here M2 screws that I use to mount these uh, of course the M2 screw is not two millimeters it's like one eight nine millimeters so there is a, a very tiny tiny uh, play not so much on the PCB but a little more on the stencil and it, so I put the stencils through the screw holes and then as you see this 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 stencil, the stencil is aligned perfectly. So now this has a little, little wiggly room. Let me see if I can get it focused. With my super duper camera here, I need to get a better camera. Okay. See that little room? Or that little play? So what I do, of course the stencil is much thinner and it goes in between the threads. So there's... That's why the reason why is there more room. I did order some two millimeter pins and if I put those on there will be no wiggly room whatsoever. To remedy this I do some sim very simple. I just take some nuts and screw the tensile, stencil down onto the screw. And that makes it perfect. It's not gonna it's not moving anywhere and I can apply the solder paste and then take the screws off, take the stencil off, take the PCB off put the parts on there and then throw it in my reflow oven so this works beautifully it goes in and now comes down here without any problems so this would be a very easy way to apply your solder paste with the stencil and have it aligned correctly so that's just the idea that I wanted to tell you and show you. Okay, now on to the V gauges. Uh, as you see, I have a black one and a red one. The codes will be choosable. I don't think that's a word, but anyhow. And here I have different colors just for the fun of it. And I also wanted to show you the LEDs that are on here that you can use for blinker, left, right, oil warning lamp and uh, blue for high beam. And I also threw on there the, my stereo woo meter codes. Actually they're mono but you can use them one for each channel. And so you are not limited by this for any, as a car gauge you can use it for anything else. What, whatever runs on your Arduino with the uh, OLED display you can use on here. Uh, here I have a G-force meter. Uh, the accelerometer is not attached at the moment so I cannot show it to you. But since that is in the black box, which I showed you before, the accelerometer will be on here if you order it with that. And then you can mount the accelerometer uh, and the black box in the car in the right position. I'm not gonna not sure if it's gonna be like this or this but this will be the top and if you mount it securely on a fixed place in your car you have the g-force meter working nicely uh, the rpm code could be exchanged for a temperature code and i have uh, actually emmanuel uh, also known as uh, toposo uh, wrote me a code in which I can choose the uh, NeoPixels with the analog input and then output the colors like I want. So if it increases, the LEDs increase and the color changes. So that was that. Uh, I went for a drive today, uh, pretty far actually, with a friend of mine. And I was a passenger. I mounted the uh, V-gauge on the mirror with the, the suck suck cup suck cup that suck cup 
with this uh, phone holder, magnetic phone holder. And uh, we do have some really bumpy roads here in Bulgaria. And I was like driving like this with my hand on the bottom. In case it falls down, I would catch it, but that thing is uh, rock solid. So I have no worries about this thing falling off of that mount. Oh yes, uh, I had mounted a round metal plate before on here. And I have to say that, let me unplug this real quick to show you. I had mounted it on the back of this and I was having it here on my sitting on my table and a few hours later this thing fell off the matte black that's like a, a non sticky like a Teflon I mean you can also see that you don't see fingerprints as on metal you see fingerprints and uh, so the sticky tapes don't really stick onto this so, I had these other metal plates that do not have stickers on them and I used my uh, real 3M double-sided double -sided tape, which is this here, and uh, drilled some, first of all I cut this in half because it's a way too big, I cut it in half, drilled two holes, so I mounted it with the screws and the double sided tape and there is no way that this will come off so you do not have to worry about it falling down uh, as you might know I uh, think I have mentioned it this has also a battery inside LiPo battery and a yellow LED glowing here that's the LED behind the 3 mm LED that's showing that it's charging <coughs> excuse me and uh, I'm getting on the contacts here that's why it's showing some RPMs uh, this is just a show of mode it is not uh, thought of uh, having it to use for hours here but it's just a show of mode that you can show your friends if you have it with you so that's that otherwise it gets uh, powered by the HDMI plug obviously so um, what else what else I did talk about the sunshade the other day so that will be an option it's coming off the glue here <coughs> excuse me um, Yes, I think this was it for today. So next I will put all the codes together and will make a list and I don't know if I'm, I probably won't show all the codes because I have to take it apart to upload the code. So I will uh, think of a way to tell you what I have or maybe link to a web page. And uh, I have few of these for sale right now. You can order them directly by me, from me and uh, after that it goes on indiegogo uh, i would like to do kickstarter because actually it's uh, known better but it's not available in my country in Bulgaria. so i have to stick with indiegogo and it will go on there first and depending on the orders i get on the uh, on the amount i will make more of course and after that is over I will put them up on Tindy but as I said uh, I will be making around 10-15 of them uh, myself before I put it on Indiegogo so if you're interested get in touch with me and uh, we can go from there anyhow I think this was it uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody